Hey, I'm Sassy Wyatt, I'm a blind travel blogger and today I'm going on the Caledonian Sleeper from London to Inverness. Join me as I adventure and see if it's accessible. The accessible bathroom on the Caledonian Sleeper has an assist function. By hitting the open button twice, it gives you as a carer or a PA the option to leave the bathroom while still giving the disabled person dignity. Hey guys, I'm here on the Caledonian Sleeper. I'm so excited to be doing an accessible review for it. Um, I'm going all the way up to Inverness and then I'll be returning. Um, as you can hopefully see, it's a huge room. Grant, do a quick swing. Yep, so you got a double bed here. Got accessible, we got ports here to charge your phone. We've got two separate lights over there. Got some menus and things here. The menu is asking you what time you want breakfast, um, and your breakfast options are power porridge, bacon roll, blueberry smoothie bowl with chia seeds, flax seeds, crushed dried banana that's vegan, Highland breakfast exclusively served in club car, eggs royale exclusively served in the club car, no breakfast required. Breakfast are served with a bad girl bakery muffin and it says we will endeavour to deliver your first choice as offer as an alternative if not possible. And you can select what time you would like um, your breakfast delivered, if you want tea or coffee, apple juice, orange juice, caffeinated coffee. And yeah, it just tells you the times here, what, what, what time breakfast is served when you're going to Inverness, Aberdeen, Fort Williams, Glasgow and Edinburgh and London for example. And then it says location, would you like it in your room, in the lounge car and do you require a shower token and a wake up call. So then we've got Hi, so are you there? Yeah, I'm just yeah. here. So I've opted to have um, a shower token and have it in my room just because of Ida. Um, you know, she's an escape artist and she will try and bolt off and dive to sniff right. So I thought it'd be really great, but I'm hoping on the way back to at least go in the lounge car to experience that um, from a disabled person's perspective too, to see if it's wheelchair accessible and um, accessible for visually impaired people. Unfortunately, it does look like there is no braille menus. Um, if you use apps like Seeing AI or Envision AI, both of which is coming up in a future video, um, then yes, it is accessible to you, but to fill out the cards, um, yeah, unfortunately, it, it's not. But really, I just think this is just a fantastic thing. I think I'd point out at the moment we've, we've noticed there's no um, there's no grab rails, are there, Dylan? No. And there's there's no hoist. So if there is a wheelchair user on here, they can easily get you on with a ramp, and they could, uh, you know, you've got loads of room to turn around. But if you need that transferring equipment, there, there isn't that. So I'd guess that you'd have to bear that in mind if you wanted to do an accessible um, double room with a sleeper here in the Caledonian. But otherwise, I definitely, hopefully, recommend it. And I'll get back to you later. Bye. Grant just told me there was a little bag of surprises. So, you know, typical blind girl didn't even notice. So I'm going to show you. Uh, right. This feels like a bottle of water, that's good, keep you hydrated, ooh, okay, so this is where blind girl fails are, there's quite a few of these little bits in here, so I'm just going to bring them all out, and I'm guessing they are, you know, maybe moisturiser, shampoo, conditioner, uh, yeah, what would you say? Yeah, so you there's say? conditioning shampoo, okay. there's another bag that I've got a hold of just so people are aware, oh, okay. hand and body wash, hand and body lotion, there is a journey of a nighttime sleep kit with earplugs in there as well. Ooh. And there's like a little bus full of per pillow spray. <laughs> Very nice. Oh, is that what's in here as well? Yeah, that's your sleep mask and earplugs. Oh, fantastic. Ooh. Yeah. Nice. And there's another little little bag on there near, next to your water bottle. You just mm -hmm. find that. Uh, that's got shampoo and things in it just for the shower that they have. Oh, has it? Yeah. Oh, brilliant. Oh, so, all the bits and bobs are packed. Didn't need to. Yes. That's quite good. Obviously, if you're blind, you wouldn't actually be able to tell which is the difference. But, you know. <laughs> this is the fun of being blind. Everything's an adventure. Right, I'm going to go because Grant actually needs to get off this train before it departs. Yes. Love you and leave you, and I'll speak to you later. Bye. It is currently... 10 past 4 in the morning and we on this service have pulled up into Edinburgh they're doing the coupling which means they're putting the trains together to go on the extended journey up to the Highlands and I've been so panicking all night about Ida going to the toilet um, she's trained not to go indoors but it doesn't mean that her bladder doesn't stop and that she might need um, we took her probably 
quarter to nine um, last night and no it could have even been earlier than that no it must have been about 20 past eight and for me I always let her out at least like 10 half past 10 at night as a last stitch attempt and she generally goes so I've been really panicking and this room is lovely and warm so she's been dehydrated a little bit so she's been drinking a lot more water than what she does at home and so I started to panic and then I realised we pulled up into Edinburgh because I checked you since Siri <laughs> and then I just pushed the door when I heard people and yeah so I'm here because they don't let passengers off when they're coupling but because she's a guide dog and I asked if she could go to the toilet two members of staff helped me not only take her to the toilet but get me on and off the train safely so there's a huge gap like a foot and a half gap and she wasn't on harness so yeah I'm just really 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 thankful to the staff of oh, the Caledonian sleeper for not only allowing us to get off but helping us do that and then get me back to my room because I got slightly disorientated and they were fantastic so thank you thank you and I'll check in with you in the morning morning we arrive at 20 to 9 in Inverness so I'll check in with you then and then hopefully you can see like you know the sun and light there's an artificial speak to you later bye Good morning, good morning! We are, I'm not sure where we are actually. Uh, it's currently 8am. We don't pull in to Inverness until 8.40. Um, I had breakfast, which I'm going to show you in a second. Um, and I asked for it to be delivered to my room, just because of Ida. It means that she's not like bothering other people and potentially looking for scraps. Uh, the lounge part. But yeah, um, and I opted for the bacon roll, which came exactly at the time I requested it, um, 7.45. So I'll just show you the little plate thing. Um, I have demolished the bacon roll because I was super hungry. But, so you've got um, a bacon roll, and then you've got, um, I think it's a muffin, I'm guessing so, um, and a little cup of tea. And the guy was amazing, like he came in, um, he um, helped me move all my crap out of the way and then helped me fold down the table and then he was, he was explaining like what I had um, that there was an option of brown, and tomato, brown sauce, tomato ketchup and then he just asked would you like me to do it for you and I just thought oh yes please that'll make my life easier just because I'm on a moving train there's no seat um, and I can obviously do these things myself but it was nice because I got to chat to him, so yeah, he put like the bright sauce my bacon roll and he poured me a cup of tea. That was a really lovely touch and it was the fact that he just offered to do it, it was really magnificent. Um, the service here is spectacular, I'm really happy with it. And yeah, I'll check in with you when we kind of pull in, hopefully I can get some footage. I looked out the window and I can't see very much, like as in light or dark, but it seemed very dark out there. So we'll see when we get closer, if the sun rises a bit more, and if I can show you some footage on the train. Speak to you later. Bye! Right, and what river is this? So I'm standing on a bridge at the River Ness, and I don't know if you can see it, but you can definitely hear the power of it. How crazy is that? Right, apparently, according to Rebecca, my tour guide, there is a castle over here somewhere. Oh, no, Which way? Yeah, you look Yay! So we don't know what the castle is. I'll find out and uh, tell you later. Hey guys, so I'm at the guest lounge in Inverness. It's really quiet and um, I'm not sure really what's in the room except coffee machines and uh, obviously tables and chairs and sofas. So I'll just scan around and I'll tell you more about the trip in a minute. So 
Well, there's been flooding in Inverness and I'm now getting the bus. There's a replacement bus service down to Perth. Um, the sleeper train couldn't come up to Inverness, so getting the bus down and then sleeper train from Perth onwards. Um, I don't know. They, they've been brilliant. Obviously, I've arrived in so, like, such plenty of time that it's not an issue. But a bus is like, eh. <laughs> Oh well, at least I can get into my jammies later. I will record some more when I'm on the train and kind of update you there. Bye! Hey guys, so it's quarter 12 and I'm not long got on the train. Um, the ride was pretty smooth to Perth. We had to stop off twice to pick up other passengers. Um, kind of wish the driver didn't just leave his door open for the entire half an hour. I was sitting there because I was at the front, so it was freezing. Apart from that, so this is the room I'm in now. Um, I'm quite sure this is the club room. Um, so I'll just give you a little show around. So behind me is the door, and then to my left, let me find it, because you know, real blind girl. This is real blind girl vlogging, because I need to find the door. Oh, there we go. Right, so my, my sink, dee -dee. and then your pull-out table, and that's where there must be, oh yeah, there's the, the, the blind. And then here's the, because the, it's um, bunk beds. And then you've got your little um, hangers and stuff. And then Ida's on the floor, like at the head of the bedroom. Right? It's going to be. Um, yeah, the staff have been brilliant. I'm unfortunately in a room that has a broken door. So, um, manually. I have to open the door and my god, that was hard, like really hard to open. Um, the staff were fantastic, they said, you know, if you need to get in or out, just call the buzzer, we'll come help you because we'll be up all night. That was really useful, but then I was like, oh, I'm so independent, I can do this on my own, and it took me, I don't know how long, but it was embarrassingly long to open this door. Um, and then I opened it a little bit, like so I could squeeze through. And I was like, yep, no, I can't get through that. And then, just as I was opening the bathroom door to my left, um, and in the toilet trying to close the door, trying to find the closing bits of the door, Ida was scooting down the corridor, so she got out. Thankfully, the staff were like there, got her back in, shut the door on her, stood by my door, and the toilet showed me like um, the layout of the toilet, and then kind of got me I was in the room already kind of like unpacked a bit but just showed me, double checked where everything was because I was in the double room last time and Grant had showed me all of that whereas this time it's like a uh, slightly different so the double room it was like above my bed like the USB um, let me see if I can see it on camera I don't think I will <laughs> but it's up and it's dark so it's up here um, up on the wall, like above your head. So I guess it's kind of where it would be, actually. No, it's exactly the same. It's just not, it's just got a, a bunk bed. And then down, right down, and to my left. So if I'm in bed, it'll be on my right-hand side is the call bell. So if I need help, I'll do that. But because um, there was a bit of confusion with my tickets, um, I was going to be in the double room way back but that was booked for the time that I was going back so they've put me in this room which is the a club room meaning that I get the club breakfast so I went for the big fat boy Highland <laughs> um, what is it Highland breakfast yeah so it's essentially a quick breakfast so I'll show you that in the morning but yeah it's all good like um, the staff are great yeah, can fault them. They're so so good, so so kind and genuine. And you know, if I need any help, they're the first to say, you know, just give us a shout. So yeah, right. I'm signing off. Going to bed. Hopefully, there's no 4 a.m. wake up calls this time around. So um, I'll check in with you in the morning when I'm having my breakfast. I woke up a little bit late that morning so I didn't get any footage but I did have the Highland breakfast which was absolutely delicious and of course I would highly recommend this trip.